I just got through watching a clip uh, from the Rolando Romero versus Javante Tank Davis, uh, the, the press conference they just did for their up-and-coming May matchup. Um, got a little heated from the, the clip that I seen um, between uh, Roley's trainer and Calvin Ford and Tank Davis and Roley. They was exchanging words. Man, sometimes it's just hard to listen to both of them talk, man. Roly and Tank, man, listening to them talk, bro, it's almost like these motherfuckers said maybe like 10 words to hold, like between themselves, uh, total 10 words and shit. Everything else was like, you know, and uh, Roly with that, um, uh, and then Tank with, you know, uh, I'm like, what the fuck, man? Both these, both these motherfuckers, like they banged their head too, too hard when they was kids or something, man. I don't know, but... <laughs> It was clearly uh, Tank looked agitated, but you know he seemed like he was just composed at the same time. You could tell he definitely matured a little bit, you know, um, like controlling his anger and shit like that. Roley was um, people are claiming that Roley got punked. I got to go watch the whole press conference, man. I'm gonna watch it after this video. But um, one thing is, man, Roley been talking about knocking out Tank like since forever, bro. Yo, Roly got to stop that shit, bro. You got to stop saying that shit, bro. I, I hate when boxers do that, man. They keep talking about, I'm going to knock, knock you out in the first round. I'm going to knock you out in the third round. Oh, this fight ain't going to cards. Just, you getting dropped. You getting knocked out. Yo, only people that can really back shit up like that is Muhammad Ali, bro. Like, like there's probably some others from back in the days that when they say they going to knock you out, like Tyson. Like, and Mike Tyson was one of them. Definitely Mike Tyson. He tell you he's going to knock you out. He's going to knock you out, man. But Roley, he, he didn't even knock out Jackson Marinas. I know why. Because he was more of a mover. You know, he wasn't stationary for for, for uh, Roley to really plant his feet and really get the, like, hit, deliver his shot the way he wanted to. Maybe that's what it is. But come on, Roley. Roley got to stop that shit. Every other sentence he talking about, he's going to knock out Tank. And then we don't get the knockout. You know, then what? You know, what you going to say? Especially if you lose and don't get, the, and then you get knocked out or you, you lose and you and you get beat the fuck up for 12 rounds to the decision and you don't even leave drop tank. Everybody going to look at you like a cow, like a clown, bro. Like just, just let the knockout come. Like tank was, tank didn't say nothing about knocking nobody out. In a way he did too. Tank was, tank was hinting at it. He's like, yo, you know what we do. You know, you know what we bring in. You know, so he was indirectly saying he going to knock him out. But Roley is just straight telling Tank, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock you out. And then, like I said, bro, you don't get the knockout. Everybody going to start looking at you suspect. But just let it come, bro. It's just like, damn. You, yo, listen, man. Either Roley knows something we don't know about Tank or Roley just full of shit, bro. It got to be one of the others. But, bro, just, just getting in, do what you do, man. I don't want to hear nothing about you know, you gonna knock him out. You know, we wanna hear it, I guess, but we don't wanna hear that shit. Like, every fucking sentence, you gonna knock him out, you gonna knock him out, he getting knocked out, you gonna knock him out. The Roley claims Tank was fighting a bunch of drain fighters, and that's why he was able to get the knockouts and, and able to bully his opponents, a bunch of drained, smaller fighters, and this is what Roley is claiming. Um, to, to a certain extent, he's, he's right, but not, not, not fully. But yeah, this should be a very interesting fight. Um, a lot of people are, are definitely swinging towards Tank to win this fight by knockout. Um, this we don't know, man. We we, we don't know the, the likelihood of the knockout. Um, I don't know, man. Especially after Tank's hand got broke, we gotta take that into consideration. Uh, I don't, you know, what if it's not fully healed, you know, or you know, so that could be a factor, man. So I, I would probably. I would probably, I would probably go with Tank. It's going to Tank going either win by the cards or Roley going to pull an upset and knock Tank out. Cuz Roley is not beating Tank on like he's not outboxing Tank. That's not going to happen. So, if you guys is going to place a bet on this fight, I recommend this. Bet on Tank to knock out Roley sometime, I'm not sure, maybe like late rounds, knock out Roley. Bet on Roley to knock out Tank. Maybe like the uh, same thing, late rounds. Maybe uh, six, seven. Bet on Tank to knock Roley out. Maybe seventh, eighth, or you bet on Ro on Tank to win by car on on decision. That's it. 
you should win something. One of them three. There's one of them three things going to happen. Roley's not going to outbox Tank. So there's only there's only three other outcomes. Tank going to knock him out. Tank by KO. Roley by KO. Or Tank by decision. That's the only three ways the fight going to end. Or they could get so. You know these these dudes really look like they don't like each other. So. What if they get in that ring and then they just a bunch of low blows and elbows and what if it turned into a real nasty street fight and then us another thing people are not talking about what if something bad happened in this fight like that you know the fight get dis they get disqualified and something happened in that ring kind of like when um Zab punch uh gave Floyd that low blow and then both camps jumped in the ring you know uh you know Roger Mayweather. Started fighting with um Zab Judas Pops. I forgot Zab Pops name. Man. It was a Noel. Noel. Noel Zuda. Judah. I forgot his name. And yo, if these dudes got bad blood like that, that's a strong possibility this shit could probably happen just like that. You know, and then you got Tank, you know, supposed to be leaving Mayweather promotions and you know, maybe they want to go out with a bang. Who the fuck knows? But that's an element people not talking about. That's a possibility, man. But I'm just taking Roly running his fucking mouth, bro. Stop saying you're going to knock him out. Because if you don't knock him out, Roly don't give a shit, though. That's the thing. Maybe he don't care what people think about him. You know, maybe he he, he just believed that he's going to really knock Tank out. Or he's just talking out his ass. But either way, even if he don't knock him out, he wouldn't care if people look at him funny. He, he like one of the motherfuckers just don't give a damn. You know, but... Let me know what y'all think about this press conference between Tank Davis and Roly Romero. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out.